Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video for YouTube. Uh, I've been um, stuck on another video platform uh, for a little bit, for the past couple of months, I guess. I've been using the, uh, the new uh, Periscope uh, video app, you know, and you guys have, may have heard of that or you may be on it yourself. And it's just kind of like the new thing that's uh, taken over the world. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's connected with the, the Twitter stuff and it's kind of weird because I don't use Twitter or any of those, you know, anything like that. I'm usually mainly like Instagram and my, my Facebook kind of, but, uh, but mainly I just do the Instagram stuff because I can post pictures of the car and just whatever, right? Uh, but the Periscope thing is pretty cool because, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's like YouTube videos, but it's on your phone and it's real handy and you can do it. Uh, you know right on the spot and people can comment back to you in real time and you can like have this you know conversation with people and you can respond to their comments they can ask you questions and you can do everything in real time so it's kind of like um, like the YouTube hangouts but it's on your cell phone and it's pretty handy and you know it's kind of getting big right now and uh, I've been using it and kind of testing it out and playing with it so uh, you know Sorry, I didn't mean to abandon YouTube, <laughs> but it's just so much easier and it's kind of different. And with YouTube stuff, I have to do the video and then I have to edit it. And I usually do like 20 takes of these or whatever. And, and, uh, and then finally I'll go edit a whole bunch of stuff together. And, you know, it, it takes a lot more time. And with the, uh, with the, uh, the Periscope stuff, it's just real time. It's right there. It's live and there's no editing and it's kind of real and I don't know, it's different. So... Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, you should definitely check out the, uh, the Periscope app. Not that I'm trying to endorse it or anything. It's just uh, check it out. You can uh, follow me uh, on there. And it's the, uh, my, my handle, I guess, is uh, at BXR Motors. Um, it's just like the same you know, tag I have for Instagram or, or, or Facebook or anything. So if you just type BXR Motors, you'll find us uh, in pretty much any of the social media stuff. But, uh, but anyway, um, with that you know, said, that's kind of what I've been doing and why I haven't been on uh, YouTube so much. But we have been working on the car and I think the last videos that we did, we were doing the stuff with the, uh, uh, with the I think it was the tube bender. So, so I think that's the last videos I did um, where we kind of did the tube bender re review for Rogue uh, Fabrication, um, who has a really awesome tube bender. Um, real nice setup. I haven't really uh, done a whole lot with the tube bender because we've been doing so much body work and so I haven't done any videos on it and uh, you know I need to do more with that when we start getting to it and I will uh, because it's, it's pretty cool uh, bender and you guys uh, you know will, will really like what it can do um, and just kind of how compact it is compared to, to other ones and that's the reason why I you know got it so so anyway, um, so I figured I'd just kind of go over the car stuff because I know you guys are dying for some car updates. I keep getting emails like all the time about, you know, the car stuff and when I'm going to do a YouTube video. And so, uh, again, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to abandon you guys. Uh, I need to do these more regularly, but, you know, it's just so time consuming. And I have my hands in like a whole bunch of business stuff. And uh, I'm trying to, you know, create my own capital to... Uh, fund the car myself and not have to worry about investors because investors are driving me nuts and <laughs> it's, it's just a I don't know the the we we end up finding you know some people that are interested and they just are a little on the crazy side or, or they are not very reliable or uh, gosh I, I don't know they're just flaky so I don't know what the deal is I, I, I need to find someone someone stable <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of crazy so uh so i'm just going after it on my own i got a bunch of business startups going on and it's keeping me pretty busy uh and i'm just you know doing a whole lot of crazy stuff but uh but anyway so um what i think the last stuff i did you know i, I showed you on the on the blade was the uh we we're kind of disassembling everything and i'll kind of point this away over here so you can see um and it's pretty much the same uh, <laughs> uh condition but the differences are, and I hope this shows up because I really can't see myself uh, like I can on my other cameras. I'm just looking at the, the lens on the GoPro deal. But um, you can see the hood right here. 
So one of the things that you know I talked about in the previous videos is that we um, uh, were need, we're building a new chassis for the blade, and it's going to have a wider track width. Well, because of the wider track width, we need to uh, widening widening widen the ugh, you know widen the hood. <laughs> if I can say that word right, and uh, in some of the body panels on the car. So what we did is we cut the hood, um, and I'll just give you a you know view here cut it straight down the middle and i'll have some high speed you know like footage or something not high speed but some time lapse uh footage and what we did is we you know sliced the hood down the middle widened it six inches uh, exactly and then kind of riveted it back together uh, and then bonded it and then now it's getting uh fiberglassed over uh just to reinforce it further so that we can continue the body work and then we're going to start working on the sides uh, and the rest of it we also do the same thing to the front, which is kind of a mess right now. So you can kind of see we've cut it down the front and that's gonna get all filled in. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, right now everything's covered in dust. I've hung up my little signs over there and um, that we used to have at the uh, SEMA show. Uh, and I got all kinds of stuff on the floor. So, so anyway, um, that's kind of what, uh, what we've been doing. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it really has been a, uh, a lot of work trying to align everything and that's one thing that we're, you know, me and my buddy Chase, you know, who's helping me work on the car, he and I are really paying a lot of attention to the, uh, the measurements of everything, all of, all of the alignments, uh, just so that the uh, fit and finish of this next uh, GT1 model of the blade is going to be so much better than the XTR, you know, that the XTR had, you know, was pretty good in some areas, but there were a lot that People got in a hurry and you know especially at the at the body shop and things like that it was just under such a time crunch that you know no one had the time to focus on all the little tiny details and of course that's what people pointed out when we we're at SEMA you know that's what people are going to see and uh, but it wasn't really that big of a deal um, even at SEMA you know people didn't really you know get crazy with pointing it out there was a few mentions and that was about it but uh, but to me, you know, I like to know where all the little imperfections are, and it just drives me crazy. So, really taking my time on it. Uh, also, you know, we we don't really have the the funding, you know, that I had before when I had investors. So, uh, it's uh, it's a little slower going because I'm self funding everything again, kind of back in the garage doing the same thing with fiberglass everywhere. It's just like the old days, uh, and we are. Uh, just you know, working hard at it, um, keeping it going, keeping the dream alive, and uh, just pushing, pushing forward with it. Uh, that's all that we can do. Um, and then at the same time, you know, I'm running some other businesses, and uh, I have some other stuff that I'm doing, and you know, I'm just kind of busy with a lot of that stuff. Uh, but you know, you guys will, will uh, I'll try to update you more on some of that later. Uh, but you know, it's just interesting things, and. Um, I don't know. So hopefully it'll help bring like some seed funds into the blade. That's that's kind of the the goal, uh, you know, essentially, and uh, and kind of recover a little bit. I spent a lot of 2014, um, you know, kind of recovering from the you know the little downfall of BXR. So you know now we're building it back up, and uh, it's uh, it's a, it's a challenge, and you know, but. Like I say, we're pushing forward and that's all, all we can do. You know, the dream is still alive and uh, I still, you know, have my visions that I'm going to uh, pursue and, and make this happen. So we've made a few changes and we're going in, you know, not really different directions, but we're just refined the direction that we're going in uh, and kind of pinpoint the, uh, the, the, the business model a little better, you know, so that we when we do get this car on the road, it, it's going to start bringing in, you know, the, the funding and the money and, you know, the additional, you know, money to be able to continue producing the car, right? So that's the whole idea. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, um, that's basically it. Just want to give you guys, you know, kind of a quick update. Uh, I suggest you guys check out my Periscope stuff. I may like try to tag some of my, or, and I don't know how I can do it because it's kind of vertical, the Periscope, as you're holding it with your phone. And they just now converted it to landscape to where you can shoot it in landscape mode. Uh, otherwise it looks kind of weird on YouTube, but I may post some on YouTube because I've had some interesting little sit down, you know, conversations with people and, and things about the whole story behind 
uh, how this whole thing started and kind of what went down and just the whole history uh, up until now with the blade. And so um, I think, you know, you guys may find that interesting and, you know, it's just one of those typical new startup uh, deals and I've kind of talked about it before in some of the previous videos about, you know, what, what has happened with everything. So if you're new to this, you know, series of videos, then I suggest you watch, you know, about five videos or five or six videos back and I should, you know, in some of those videos update on everything, you know, because we did get the car on the racetrack and we did it, you know, we, we got the car, you know, performing really well and pulling nice, you know, lateral G's and things and, uh, you know, just had a lot of power for the track. So, uh, still a lot of refinement to do and that's why it's back in my garage getting uh, basically torn down and, uh, and, and repurposed into the GT1 version of the car, which is more of a race car uh, 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 focused, you know, um, vehicle, I guess. And so, and then there'll be a street vehicle version of that. That will be the XTR uh, later. So, so anyway, um, I don't know, you know, uh, you guys just let me know what you think. Give me some uh, feedback in the comments, you know, and, and let me know your thoughts and uh, what you think about the Periscope uh, deal and whether you like it or, you know, whatever. Uh, I seriously, you know, suggest checking me out and, and following me on there because I'm kind of doing it, you know, almost every day now. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a different kind of experience. So it's not like YouTube. I really wish like with the YouTube Hangouts where you can do live video feed because I was about to do that and then the Periscope thing came out and I was gonna start doing like YouTube uh, Hangout inside of the garage so you guys could like watch and we could like, you know, read your comments and have a live interaction. Well then the Periscope thing came out and it just was so easy. And whereas the Hangout deal is a little clunky and it wasn't really working right and they just now did an update to, to where it works a little better. And I, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, they're not paying attention to the Periscope stuff and they come out with the phone version, but uh, that would be interesting to see. Um, I don't know, you know, you know Google, man, they 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 will jump on anything and, and, and prove it. Uh, but uh, I don't know. So you guys, uh, let me know what you think. I didn't want to make this too long of a video and I'm going to attach some of the uh, high speed footage of us, uh, or not high speed, I keep saying high speed, uh, the uh, time lapse footage of us cutting the, uh, the, the hood down the center and, and we're using uh, uh, Clico uh, pins to, to uh, hold the body panels together, which worked out really nice on this car, um, on the hood panels, you know, it, it's, I, I kind of explain it in some of the video stuff, but it, uh, they're, they're real nice little devices, uh, like reusable rivets, I guess, and uh, I don't know really how to explain it, but, um, but they use them a lot of times in holding and fabricating fenders and cars and panels and whatever to secure things to the, to the car. So, uh, so anyway, with that said, I will uh, see you guys in the next video, hopefully a whole lot sooner. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do these more. Um, and uh, we have been shooting a lot of video. I just haven't, like I said, I haven't had time to edit it and, and do stuff with it. So I'm gonna include a little bit of it in, at the end of this video. And you guys just uh, hang in there and go check me out on Periscope and Instagram and all that stuff because that's where I do stuff on a daily basis pretty much. And you can really see what's going on uh, there. And then I'll uh, keep posting to YouTube and maybe see if, see if there's a way I can take some of the Periscope stuff and put it on YouTube. It's just going to seem kind of weird because I'm talking to people like live and because I'm seeing their comments scroll across the screen. But on the video that I would post on YouTube, you wouldn't see any of their comments. And it would seem kind of weird like, who's this guy? What's he, who's he talking to? Because <laughs> it, it seems, you know, because I'm commenting and talking and responding to people. And, and you don't really see that in the video, you know, when, when I have it to share. So, so anyway, uh, I will uh, see what I can do with that. And then who knows, uh, it'll be interesting. So I guess uh, check me out there on, uh, again, Periscope. And it's at BXR Motors. Uh, the same thing with Instagram. It's at BXR Motors on Instagram. And then, uh, you know, Facebook is uh, BXR Motors. Uh, and the only thing that's not BXR Motors is YouTube, which is under Bailey Blade. I should probably change that one day if I can. I don't know. I think I'm waiting to uh, see if that's possible. I, I don't know. I'll have to check into that. But anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time and uh, take it easy.